Hey everyone, and welcome to EdTech Hustle. So what you're looking at right now is a video that I created and uploaded last week. It's a retelling of the Rudyard Kipling tale, Ricky Ticky Tavi, and I created this using Google VO3 and Synthesia. So this video completely created through AI video tools. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I did that. But before I do, if you could subscribe to EdTech Hustle, that would be awesome. I plan to release a lot of content this summer and I wouldn't want you to miss any of that. So if you do that for me, that would be awesome. Now, as for the video, the first thing that you'll need to use Google VO3 is a Google Gemini account. Now, in order to access Google VO3 or the video creator inside Gemini, you will need a Google AI Pro account. So is that a free account? No, but there's a special promotion going on which will allow you to access Gemini Pro, including VO3, for one month for free. And you'll see this in the top right-hand corner of your screen. There should be a button that says Upgrade. When you click on that button, you can see this special deal that is going to allow you to access Google Gemini Pro for free for one month. So you can click Get Offer at the bottom of the screen. You sign up and you can cancel immediately, but you still have that one month for free to determine if this is something that you want to try. And then you won't have to worry about accidentally forgetting to cancel and being charged a month for a service that you don't want. But once you have that Google AI Pro subscription, then you're able to generate video. Now, you are limited to a number of video generations. I'm not sure how it works, but I can't generate any more after creating this video. So what I did is I asked Google Gemini to break down the, the story into a number of different scenes. I said 10 to 15 key scenes, and I asked it to maintain consistency to, to specify character design and environments. So that's kind of what it did. The first thing that uh, Gemini did is it gave me the characters, and it also gave me some of the environments, and it defined what those are. And then it created a prompt for each of the 10 to 15 scenes. As you can see, it's eight seconds long. And in that prompt, they put the bracketed item, in this case, Ricky's appearance. And how this works is Gemini would then go check this and add the appearance here to hopefully create some consistent characters. I found that this wasn't 100% perfect, but this is probably a good approach if you are interested in creating videos with the same characters, same backgrounds, that sort of thing. So I had my 10 to 15 scenes right over here. And then what I did is I just took uh, not only the consistent character item at the top, this, this text right over here, but I also copied each individual scene and I asked Gen Gemini to generate this scene. So for example, here's, here's one of those times that I use this. So I just set consistent elements to define. Here they are. This is the prompt at the bottom. And this is what Gemini was able to generate. Okay, looks pretty good. From here, what I did is select this download button, and I was able to download all of these individual videos. So the next thing I did is I went to Synthesia. Now, I have a lot of videos on using Synthesia to create synthetic videos, but I thought it might be kind of cool to have a narrator at the beginning. So from the menu of speakers, I chose this old man narrator. You can see some of the other options that are here as well. And I also chose this voice. It's actually a Santa Claus voice, but it was that old man kind of storyteller voice. Now, what I did from here is I just kind of put a green background, knowing that I'm going to use my green screen effect to remove this background and pick a background at a different time. If I knew exactly what background I had at this time, I could have just uploaded it here and just exported this as a video but instead I just kind of gave myself some options so I left this background as just a green screen but what you'll see at the bottom here is all of the text that I had my narrator read so this includes the intro and it includes the actual story which of course was generated through Google Gemini and then once I finished this, I just selected generate and it went through, it generated the video and I was able to download this from Synthesia. So now what you're looking at is the video editor that I used. I used Camtasia, but you can choose whatever you'd like. 
I used a video editor to put everything together. So it started with first, of course, my old man narrator, which is right over here. Of course, I chose a background. I removed that green color and I replaced it with this nice little library setting. For this first part, you can see this is an AI video that I generated of a young <laughs> Rudyard Kipling, maybe a little too young. Uh, this is a book. This is not AI. This one is not AI. But I believe the rest of the videos that you see, like this mongoose, this cobra, and this is actually recycled from, or this is actually one of the videos that I generated that I didn't use, but you see this cobra right here. And then I just added a bunch of different images at the end as well. So this is our intro. And then the rest is just A, those clips that I generated from Google Gemini. I, again, downloaded them all, added them to my timeline, put this little transition effect, and this is the voiceover, which again comes from Synthesia. So it was really just a matter of assembling these clips all together. This part was pretty straightforward. I just had to kind of add the clips, uh, make sure that my narration matched up with those clips because sometimes the eight second clips were a little bit longer than the narration. And then I just had to kind of put everything on this timeline. Now, I mentioned before the consistent characters. It worked fairly well, but not always perfect. So you can see if you look at the mongoose, that mongoose looks a little bit different here. It's kind of, I guess that color is not as bad, but he's a little, the, the red color is more bright here than I think it is in these first scenes, right? Also, you see here's Teddy here. And then this is Teddy in this scene. He is younger. He has longer hair. Not exactly as consistent as you might want it. Other things, too. This scene kind of looks a little bit weird. We have the two cobras in the bathroom, which is good. But at one point, it looks like there's two uh, mongooses right over here. And then watch this one scene. You can see it just doesn't look natural how all of a sudden he's up there. And now we see him pop in from the bottom and he kind of crawls out. That scene I didn't like. This one too, you see him kind of fight uh, the, the cobra inside the water jug, which happens, but we never really see the cobra. And then he kind of knocks him off the table and scatters. I don't, I don't mind this one too bad, but it would be nice to see that cobra inside there, which you never really do. As for the rest, I think the rest is okay. This snake looks a little more kind of cartoonish, I think, than realistic than some of the other ones. Uh, let's see. This is a great scene. I thought this looks awesome. This again, it kind of looks like they just took, um, like video and slapped it on a background as opposed to really creating it and making it look natural. This one doesn't quite look perfect either, but the rest of it I think looks pretty good. So that's it. This is pretty much the process that I followed to create this video. I think the end result was, uh, was pretty cool. I just signed up for that Google AI Pro account through Google Gemini. I then used Gemini to generate the scenes and descriptions of those consistent characters. Once I had everything laid out, I took the characters and I took the scenes and I generated each individual scene. And then once everything was done, downloaded everything all together and just edited this, edited this like you're seeing right now. Of course, I did use that narrator in the beginning. This was done through Synthesia. I just put these clips on the timeline and added some B-roll video and some different images as well just to kind of give this a nice intro. But you can follow this process if you're interested in creating your own video. It starts with Google Gemini. Like I said, this is the best time probably to try that Google AI Pro account and to generate your own videos. So that's it. I hope this video was helpful in showing you how I created this AI generated video of Ricky Ticky Tappy. 